All right, bros. So here, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna help out Mark here. Um, <clears throat> he wanted to do a video on his SPTA cordless um, pump sprayer, but it looks like he was having some difficulties with the way it was spraying. Here, SPTA cordless uh, pump sprayer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to throw some <clears throat> of the fully involved from the vice collection straight up into the pump sprayer and i'm going to show you how it foams on one of my tires mainly for the rim and i am going to wash it off with a pump with another pump sprayer manual pump sprayer with water no hose no pressure washer a regular gallon pump sprayer full of water let's go to the video all right guys i hope you don't mind the wind noise i'm out here it's a little late it's a nice florida evening the weather's perfect it's a little windy but that's okay so now i'm going to turn on the spta pump sprayer <clears throat> let's turn this on and get it primed pressurizing I'm not even gonna rinse the wheel like preliminary rinse with water I'm just gonna do it dry and I think it's almost there <coughs> yeah guys and if I sound a little nasally it's because I think I have a cold there's not a lot of fluid in here so it's probably going to take a while to uh, pressurize. I'll put it down because I'm getting a little tired of holding it. And while we do that, I'm going to pump up my gallon pump sprayer. And I think we're good uh, there. As you see, I didn't really put a lot. I didn't really put a lot in here. Alright, well, let's see where we're at now. Hi right, guys, well, here's a quick test. <clears throat> I got fully involved in the IK foamer, straight up, no dilution. <clears throat> and this is what it looks like. I'm not even gonna lie and say, I'm not impressed by that. All right, well, we've let that dwell. Let's hit it with this. Let's see what it's done.
I'm not going to lie and say I'm not even the slightest bit, like, not shocked that this worked as well as it did. Like, wow. <clears throat> Get you a little. Oh, sorry about that. Let's get you a little deeper <coughs> into those wheels. I mean, I didn't do any agitation at all. But, I mean, you can kind of see what the wheel looked ahead of time. This is what they look like. Now, not bad, but yeah, I'm actually shocked by that. I was actually pretty damn good. Yeah, guys, so <clears throat> it worked one time, and that was it. I left it charging for about five or six hours. It's got a full battery, but it doesn't seem to want to build any pressure. You can see how it dribbles out. Everything is tight, everything is sealed. It hasn't stopped, like it's built up any pressure. We'll just set it on the floor and just let it keep doing its thing. Should have built up pressure and stopped a while ago. But yeah. Broken after one use. I've gotta say, SPTA, I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy at all. Makes me now rethink if I should even purchase the polisher. The small polisher that's uh that they have available. I mean, it's a good price, but I may just have to end up getting the Milwaukee version since I have, that's my preferred power tool, cordless power tool brand. <clears throat> or maybe Ryobi, don't know if I can get a battery adapter. But yeah, that should have stopped a long time ago. That's been building pressure, you would think that by this time, it would have, uh, it would have stopped, or it would have built enough pressure to spray out, but no, let's just hit that button, yeah, so... This, unfortunately, guys, is a bust. Um, I've got to see now what's going to exactly happen, but I'll figure it out. Contact Amazon, contact SPTA, S SPTA and well, we'll see. Well, can't recommend it, dudes. Sorry. Oh, and just to give you a little extra view so it was on that whole time let me release the pressure no pressure to release nothing it had nothing all right everybody so we're gonna do this same wheel again and um i've got it filled up not too much but just enough i'm just reusing the same nozzle and handle from the previous one and uh, let's turn it on
So it stopped. So it's working better than the last one. Well, let's see how this foams. nowhere near as good as the IK did with straight up um. well at least it's pumping and maintaining pressure but Um, not working the way I expected to. We've got the good old gallon sprayer here, and let's rinse this off. And I'll save you guys this tediousness of this. All right, guys, as an added bonus, <clears throat> I added some uh, brake buster straight up into here. Pumped it like 70 times. So it's nice and full. Let's see what kind of foam we get here. I can't lie. Um, that's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty good compared to what I've experienced in the past. So, this IK foamer, I think, is uh, coming out on top. Let me put this little bit into the SPTA and let's see what garbage comes out of that. All right, guys, so the SPTA has primed up. And let's see what hot garbage comes out of this. Yeah, I think we've come to the conclusion that um, while good in theory and probably with the spray, you know what, let's put the spray cap on and let's see what it does. All right, so we got the spray nozzle on here. Let's see. Wow. Okay, um, let's. Actually, I kind of, kind of like that. I can't even lie there. Hmm. I'm actually kind of liking that effect. guys be the judge what it look like foaming and what it look like spraying um i'll go ahead and rethink this and uh i'll give you guys my final thoughts 
All right, so we finally rinsed that off, and just to <clears throat> show it again, all I did was just empty out the the fully involved that I had in the uh, SPTA foamer, and I just poured it into the IK, pumped it 70 times, I think that's what it was to get it to full pressure, and I'm just gonna give it a quick little. Yeah, that SP, SPTA is garbage. I think the one time it worked may have just been a fluke. I mean, this was, this is straight up no dilute, not diluted at all. And you see how it comes out of a quality piece of equipment like the IK Foamer. All right, guys, so I'm done. I cleaned up. I foamed what I was going to foam. I sprayed what I was going to spray. I used two of the main chemicals, at least for wheels, that I would be using these on. I'm sure there's other uses for other different products that I would probably use someplace else or somewhere around the exterior of the car. But I've got to say, the IK here, this is a champ. And the new 2.0 version with the... Um, Schrader valve right here so you can use a compressor or like a small wheel or bicycle pump to pump it up I think that's going to be the next purchase um, test and purchase I'm pretty sure it's gonna work exactly the way I expect it to this thing on the other hand um, I don't know I've got the busted one that I have to return because it just won't build and hold it. Well, it really won't build pressure to hold it and cut off the pump. At least the new one is. Um, I really did like the way it worked with the spray tip. Uh, it, gave, it did give some foaming action with that. Um, if I decide to keep it, I would have to try and figure out how I would use that in my process. Um, I would completely be fine sending even the the replacement back and just exchanging it for a 2.0 IK or maybe even using that 50 bucks towards one of the taller like two three plus gallon maybe five gallon, with the really tall IK foamer with the longer wand even though I have got that one back there and I've got two on the ground here I've got plenty of the big ones the you know pump sprayers but yeah I'm really disappointed I really wish it would have worked the way I expected it to work or at least the first time that very first time we tested it you know it's like we had just gotten it Mark came over we tried it and it worked exactly the way we expected it to and it was awesome then I go back to try it and nothing, it just sputters. And all the sputtering that you've seen, that's pretty much what happened. And even with the new one, you saw sputter. But the IK, no sputtering. I mean, it took the brake buster. It took the brake buster like a champ. I did not expect that because I just do know that a lot of the word online is that especially with at least brake buster you've got to get your dilution right or it just doesn't come out the way you want it to and i was quite shocked that it came out pretty good for no dilution just straight up so i can't be upset with that and it actually didn't use a lot of product that's what you know i was also that was like a secondary effect that i was kind of happy with that the amount of product that was used was minimal like when i went and poured this or should i say when i poured them out into each other i was actually surprised at how much i was left when it came out of here um i can't say the same for the spta that one um well you know it wasn't too much of a hog but it wasn't as close to the um ik but i don't know now that leads me to a place like, should I even try any of the other SPTA products? Because I really wanted their little polisher. 
ah, and if it sucks, I'd be really disappointed. I'd have to go drop like three times as much to get the Milwaukee or twice as much to get the Ryobi and then get Ryobi batteries or their cordless DA there. I think they have a long throw or regular throw six inch DA that I've been eyeballing. I may just end up spending, saving the money and spending it on something else and probably another quality piece of equipment instead of just going with the cheap stuff. So that was the review on the SPTA cordless uh, foamer. Yeah, available now on Amazon. Mm. Probably a few other websites. Mm. Should you buy it? Mm. Um, as a sprayer, it worked fine. As a foamer, one time it did, and the rest of the times it was, mm. you know, do I want to sit there and play with all my dilution, with your dilution ratios? Mm. Um, you know, really, that's up to you to decide and what your processes are and, you know, what you really are looking for its usage. Uh, so I'll see you on the next one, dudes. Peace out.